it's mm. just shocking from start to finish this entire story, isn't it? And mm. to think then this man is it out on the street. It just again. makes your blood run cold, mm. doesn't it? Mm. And it makes you think of all the situations that you've been in. And but I suppose we have to sort of say this was one man, and he is described as the black cab. Driver, rapist, yeah. but we have to take that away from black cabs because mm. I mean that would be a really unfair thing to do. I mean the vast majority of people driving black cabs are utterly safe and, and all the rest mm. of it, but he's been identified as that, hasn't he? And it does just send shivers down your spine, and certainly me in terms of my girls going out and about at night. Yeah. And well, there you go. I'm back to the taxi thing, and I feel yeah. bad mm. for doing that. Well, I shouldn't you make say that. Okay, I'll just in case you know you're not completely up to speed with this, just to. to to sort of highlight what he did do. He would get young girls into the taxi. They may have had a few drinks themselves. He would pick them up outside nightclubs, various parts of London. He would pretend he had won the lottery. Yeah. And he was wanting to celebrate and would say, have a glass with me. Mm -hmm. But he would have put sedatives into the drink. Yeah. And, and he could have killed tablets. Them, he, could, he could have killed them, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And then obviously these poor young girls mm -hmm didn't know where they were, and suddenly the attack happened in the back of the cab. In terms so of just the conviction, yeah. though, I mean, he was convicted of 12 sexual assaults mm -hmm. and one rape. And, and for that, he was given an indeterminate sentence uh, until the point that the parole board decided that he was no longer a danger mm -hmm. to women. And mm -hmm. the head of the parole board has said again today in reaction to this, I am confident that this man is not a threat to women. How yeah, about... They be no, but there are other women that the police feel haven't come forward. Absolutely. So he served the time for the crimes that mm. he's committed, that they, they've proven guilty. He's but, been convicted of. Yeah, yeah but he, they need to get these other girls to come forward to keep him in prison, and oh, they need oh. to come forward. Yeah. Because otherwise this guy is going to be out there. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, this is the whole thing of, you know, women just coming forward if they've been a victim of it, because if you don't, then these guys are just out there and they're but just going to But I think where a lot else. of the women were drugged up, they probably don't even know if they were abused or anything. Yeah. They wake up and...